I've got a question. Can you still trust God? What happens when you choose to believe? A five-day reading plan from Charles F. Stanley on Version. Let's take a look at what this one has in store for us. No subtitles today. We'll go straight into the devotional. When our relationship is one of delight in the Lord, we are not going to want to do things, possess or use things, or enter into any relationship that will damage in any way our relationship with the Lord. Think back to the way you felt when you were deeply in love. To the best of your ability, you didn't let anything come between you and your loved one. Nothing mattered as much as keeping your relationship as wonderful as it was on the first day you fell in love. So it is with a person who delights himself in the Lord. Such a person will not want anything that might inhibit, hinder, stall, or interfere with his relationship with the Lord. The person will want only what is good for the relationship. When we seek the Lord and delight ourselves in Him, we want only what is pleasing to Him and only what He wants us to have. Furthermore, we will be satisfied completely with what the Lord gives us. As 1 John 1.3 tells us, truly our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. That is the ultimate fellowship, knowing God, communicating with Him, pouring out our hearts to Him, and hearing His desires, His plan for us, His purposes, loving Him with all our hearts and receiving awareness of His vast love, being at peace with God and knowing God's peace in our hearts, praising God and being filled with God's joy, being in a position to say, My God, that is truly what it means to have fellowship with God. Mm. And in the scripture, Psalm 37, 4, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Psalm 1611 says, You make known to me the path of life. In your presence there is fullness of joy, and at your right hand are pleasures for more. And Psalm 1, a few verses here, we'll go 1 through 6. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of scoffers, but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. He is like a tree planted by the streams of water that yields its fruits in its season, and its leaf does not wither. In all that he does, he prospers. The wicked are not so, but are like chaff, like the wind that drives away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. And Psalm 43, 4. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy, and I will praise you with the lyre, O God, my God. Mm. Can you still trust God? Take a chance and start to believe and see what happens. <laughs> this should be an interesting week. Another devotional picked out by Andy and read every day, Monday through Friday, on diggingdeeper.us. Thank you again to those who have written these devotionals for the last 17 weeks as we've been reading them, and also especially for God's Word. Let's pray that. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your Word. We thank you for those people who have taken the time to do these devotionals, and thank you for giving us the ability to bring them to you, to the listeners. Lord, we love you, and we want to act on your behalf to bring that delight to others. We delight in you, Lord. Help us to have those little reminders on a daily basis constantly, what it means to delight in you, and help that to be infectious towards others. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.